Hi everyone, it's Brian. I hope you are doing well today. In this video, I will show you the overview of range management, what is a rangeland, what comprises them, and why it is very important for us humans. Ready to watch this? I hope so. Now, let us learn what is rangeland. Rangeland comprises all areas of the world that are not barren deserts, farmed or covered by bare soil, rock, ice, or concrete can be classified as such. So basically, all areas can be classified as rangeland, except those we have mentioned above. So rangeland also refers to an cultivated areas that will provide the necessities of life for grazing and browsing animals. Uncultivated means no human intervention or no farming and cultivation happened in the area. In addition, rangeland is a natural grassland or shrubland that is unsuited for cultivation and which is the source of forage for tree ranging native and domestic animals as well as the source of wood products water and wildlife so it is naturally existing ecosystem not a man-made one the land is not suitable for farming and cultivation it is a source of food for the animals thriving therein and it provides services to human beings just like wood products water recreation and wildlife next grazing is is the consumption of standing forage edible grasses of forbs by the livestock and the browsing means it is the con consumption of edible leaves twigs from woody plants especially trees and shrubs the difference in here is that the type of plant the animal is consuming so when the animal only eats grasses and forbs it is called grazing and if the animal eats leaves and twigs from woody plants it is called browsing for pasture lands they can be distinguished from rangelands since they apply periodic cultivation to maintain introduced forage species and agronomic inputs such as irrigation and fertilization are applied manually. Now, for the range management, it is a discipline that utilizes ecological principles, rangelands, and range resources to create a variety of purposes. The purpose includes the usage of watersheds, wildlife habitat, grazing by livestock, recreation, aesthetics, as well as other associated uses. By definition, range management is a science and art of obtaining maximum livestock production from rangeland that is inconsistent with the conservation of land resources. So the key in here is that the optimum output without compromising the environment and the land resources. So in range management, there are two components such as protecting and enhancing the soil and vegetation complex, maintaining or improving the output consumable range products such as red meat, fiber, wood, water, and wildlife. So by achieving these two components, you are on the right track of having full potential of your rangeland in sustainable manner. So these are the basic principles of range management. Rangeland is a renewable resource. Energy from the sun can be captured by green plants that can only be harvested by grazing animals. R rangeland supplies humans with food and fiber at very low energy cost compared to those associated with cultivated lands. R rangeland 
productivity is determined by the characteristics of soil, topography, and climate. So, a variety of products include food, fiber, water, recreation, wildlife, minerals, and timber are harvested from rangelands. Next will be the objectives of range management. So we want to apply range management because it helps us to obtain maximum livestock production from the rangelands, to maintain adequate vegetation or of good quality forage to prevent soil erosion, to achieve efficient utilization of the forage produced, to conserve water, to support watersheds, to support wildlife for games and other recreational activities. So why rangelands are very important to us? It's because they can provide food for the livestock, provide food for human and habitat for wild animals, they stabilize soil, they contribute to soil development, recreational area, provide environmental and landscape amenities and also they provide a multiple of uses so we have several branches of range management so grazing management means the control of grazing and browsing animals to accomplish the desired result pasture management an art of securing maximum quantity of nutritious and digestible plants distributed as widely as possible over the grazing season and ensure the efficient utilization of forage produced. So livestock management, it is an art of securing and controlling the number of kind of livestock and their distribution in relation to the availability of forage. Then, for the range hydrology, it is the study of hydrological principles as applied to range ecosystem. And range ecology, this refers to the study of interactions or the response of plant population to its environment. In this figure, range management means a multidisciplinary profession different field of expertise are required in order to fully understand the mechanics and techniques in managing our rangelands. So range management traverses and cuts across four components such as plant sciences, abiotic, animal, and social sciences. So in plant science sciences, it, deal, it deals with growth and development. You have the biological functions, the plant interactions to its environment, as well as the sustainable management of plant products. So for the social science, you will deal with people aspect on how they affect human behavior, the allocation of limited resources with an equal monetary valuation, as well as the technical know-how on the implementation of environmental governance. So in the animal science, you will be dealing with different types of livestock, the forms, different forms of wildlife therein and their nutritional requirement as well as the controlling the population that dynamics applied into a limited area of land resources. And lastly, the abiotic sciences deals with the physical environments such as the microclimate, the hydrological hydrologic cycle, soil properties, topography, and the cycle of nutrients within plants and animals. I also added some technical terms or the glossary terms that will serve as your guide for this subject so you may check the material in the Google Classroom. So for the assignment, so you have to identify two rangelands in your locality with a photo, either be actual or secondary, 
So you have to describe the present components present in that range length. So uh, also you have to provide how it helps the landscape and provide some brief description about the current status of that range length. So in a total of 50 points for this assignment. And I hope you have learned a lot. Thank you very much for listening and always keep safe.